This video shows you how to calibrate the position indicator for your SawStop Compact table saw. You use the position indicator to set the width for rip cuts. You need to periodically confirm calibration. When calibrated, the position indicator will be in agreement with true rip widths. Before continuing with this procedure, first make sure the rip fence and the blade are aligned. See the blade and fence align video or the instruction manual for your compact table saw. You can access both at sawstop.com. As always, take precautions before working on the saw. Switch off the saw. Unplug the saw. For an extra measure of safety, lock out the power switch. Remove the insert. And then fully raise the blade. Remove the blade guard or the riving knife if that's installed. Mount the rip fence on the lugs closest to the blade. Retract the fence stops and then set the rip fence so that it lightly touches the blade. Use a light touch here. Do not deflect the blade. Lock the rip width control. If the blade is straight and both the blade and the rip fence are properly aligned, the rip fence should be in contact with the teeth on the front of the blade and the teeth on the back of the blade. This is the true zero position for the rip fence. Now look directly down on the position indicator. The reticle should be directly over the hash mark for zero. You should not be able to see the hash mark. In this example, the position indicator is slightly off. Use the Phillips screwdriver to loosen the two screws. Just break them loose. Shift the indicator. Now hold the indicator firmly and tighten the two screws. If the indicator shifted while tightening, loosen the screws, shift, and then hold more securely while you tighten. Next, double check the calibration. Unlock the rip width control. Shift the rip fence away from the blade and then back against the blade. Again, use a light touch. Check the reticle. If it's still centered over the hash mark, the calibration is good. Plug in the saw. Unlock the power switch. Install the blade guard and the insert. That's it. You have learned how to calibrate the position indicator for your SawStop Compact table saw. If you have questions, contact SawStop Service.